hi guys so today in this video we will write a java program to find whether the number is prime or not so first of all let us save this file as prime.java so all files and then i will write prime.java okay now let us start writing the code now first of all we have to import the util.scanner because we have to get the input from the user so i will uh, make a scanners object as sc and then uh, we will write new scanner and then system.in in the parameters and then i will give the output as system.out.println and enter the number and get the value in a variable n so let us start writing it so public class prime because prime was the name of the java file that we created and we will write the public static void main inside this so public static void main and then string ergs and we will not write another function for the prime number we will directly write the code inside this only so first of all we have to declare an object of the scanner so that we can get the input from the user so scanner sc and then i will write enter the number will get the int, uh, integer value in a variable and then get it inside the if and for loops and then after that i will check for the flag value and then decide if it is a prime or not so we have created the scanner subject as scanner as equals to new scanner and then system dot n enter num equals to zero because we will get the num from the user over here and it will be stored in the variable num so system dot out dot println enter the number and then int num let me just cancel out that part of int num equals to zero now i will directly write int num equals to uh, sc dot next int so that whatever value was entered by the user will be converted into an integer value and then will be stored in the variable n so int i for the uh, for loop uh, half so in place of m let us say half so that the for loop would go till the half of the number and then flag to check whether it is a prime or not so first of all let us declare half equals to n by 2 and uh, first of we have to check if number is 0 or 1 then it is already not a prime number so if n double equals to 0 or and double equals to one then uh, i will directly write it as system dot out dot println and n plus so that the integers value will be printed and then is not a prime number so let me just copy paste that part now i have to get the integers value so n plus is not a prime number and then double quotes complete bracket complete and then semicolon let me just take it give it a good indentation so that it would look good now in the else part i will go ahead and initialize the for loops conditions that if the remainder is zero then we have to change the flag and it is not a prime number so i has to start with two because it would be a prime number would be divisible by itself and one only so till the half of it and then i plus plus so till half it will be iterated now if this number is divisible by i properly div divided by means it won't give me an remainder so over here we have to write uh, n modulo i double equals to zero it means it is completely divisible by that uh, iterated value of i and uh, it this will declare that this is not a prime number so let me just write it down system dot out dot printer and we will copy paste the whole thing over here and then we change the flags value and we have to break out of the loop so we will use the break keyword so let us go ahead and first of all let us write flag equals to one means it is not a prime number and break 
so that it would come out of the loop if number is declared as prime so break out of the loop if number is declared as declared as a prime number as prime okay so now what i will write is if flag double equals to zero if all this after all this processing and all then also flag is still zero then the number is a prime number so after this if we have to write else over here so so after completion of the four bracket we have to write if flag double equals to zero if after the completion the value is still zero then we will just copy paste the line system dot out dot println and n is a prime number so i will just remove the not from here and that's it we have completely written the java program for checking if number is prime or not let us check if the brackets are closed or not so over here else and then this is the else part this one is of the if from here to there let me just move move it forward okay now let me just write over here that this is the end of the else part so i think this looks good let me just make it small so that you can see the whole program okay so let us save this control s and then we will go and then compile this with java c first of all let us change directory with cd slash then in c it was in coding and in java program so cd to change the directory coding and then java programs enter and then now java c to compile this prime dot java now let us see okay so for scanner we have written small s but we have to make it capital so let us change it okay now shift s and then over here also we have to make it capital okay now it must not give me an error so java c prime dot java okay no errors now so now let us run this that is java and then program name so java and prime so enter a number let us enter 11 so 11 11 is a prime number then 12 12 is not a prime number and then 15 15 is not a prime number now 13 13 is a prime number and then let us write 83 83 is a prime number now let us enter a non prime number so 91 is not a prime number so here it is the complete java program to check if number is prime or not thank you everyone for watching the video do like share and subscribe also comment down below if you are having any doubts